Hi, my name is Paula, and I myself have been in recovery for many years now, one day at a time. I lost my beautiful son, Mark, at 32 years old, just four years ago when he used alone and there was nobody there to save him. Losing my son, Mark, has taken a huge toll on my life and also my other children's lives, especially my youngest son, Joey, who's 27 years old, who's been suffering with addiction for four years now. I work hard on a daily basis to try to get my son, Joey, to get back into recovery. I always tell him how much I love him and how much of an amazing person he is and how his life is so worth it. I honestly feel that I have been fighting for four years now to keep my son, Joey, alive. Um, Joey's come very close to death a few times, and my fear is to lose Joey, and I can't do that. I currently am using all of my energy on a daily basis to save other people's lives now. Last Thanksgiving, I went to a men's sober house in Plimpton, Mass, and I spent the day cooking Thanksgiving dinner with 20 young men in a sober house who are all amazing kids. I'll never forget when we sat around the table and we all said what we were thankful for, and one of the young men said, it's very seldom that they see love from the outside coming in to show them how much people really care about them. Hearing that truly has touched my heart. It was the most amazing and heartfelt experience that I've had in a very long time, and I ended up going back there for Christmas with 20 other mothers from my group called Team Sharing who have lost a child to overdose. We all connected with the young men. It was the most amazing day ever, and it was such a heartfelt experience. I also sometimes will help homeless people who suffer from addiction and I help them get into recovery because I want them to know that their life is worth it. That is my story and I'm going to continue down this path and I'm trying hard to fight with legislation at the moment to try to make meth addiction treatment in Massachusetts available because we currently have none. So I'm fighting every day to save lives and that's what I want to do because that's what makes me happy. Thank you.